What's going on guys? Welcome back to the TCG Empire YouTube channel. Today we are going over Meta Monday. If you're new here, you're not sure what it is. Meta Monday is where we take a deck that has been doing well and we analyze it on the channel for a week straight. So this week we're going to be taking a look at the Red Green Leader Law. It has a very unique ability where if you have five characters in play, um, once during your turn you pay two Dawn and then you put a character of a color um, from your field with a cost of five or less back to your hand and then you can play a character with a cost of five or less of a different color um, than the one returned from your hand so uh, with that we're kind of playing an aggressive list um, playing four otama four nami three zoro you're only playing three because you can technically bounce them back so with not having combo power either and being able to recycle them you don't really need them as often then we have curly or Vista, only three Machino because again you can recycle them. So with being able to block and having 12 different blockers in the deck, um, you don't really need as many 2Ks. And then if you do have to play the Machino, you can bounce it back. So you can bounce the Machino back in place of something like a Law, which Law can bounce back another Machino or a 2K and things like that. So then we have four Tony Tony Chopper for blocks. Um, four of the 2k counter brook only one monkey d luffy kind of the same logic as running the three mock you know it's a good card but it's searchable off of all of your searchers um except curly but curly can grab you know jewelry bonnie or nami which nami or bonnie can grab monkey d luffy so um then we have four law again you play this so that way you can bounce characters back that you might not want to keep on the board and then you have capone for jewelry bonnie Three of the starter deck law. This is good because it restands your super new supernova or heart pirate type character, so you can go for big lethals. And then we have one Basil Hawkins, one Radical Beam, one Guard Point, and then one Jet Pistol. So um, overall, again, law is law, so it's kind of difficult to play. It really depends on your board state and things like that. I try my best in today's video, um, but yeah, just know that you know. I'm not a professional law player. I just kind of see the lines of play and go from there and kind of go for what seems best. So if I definitely do something wrong, don't, you know, crucify me for it. <laughs> but as always, if you guys do enjoy today's video, smash that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in tomorrow's episode of Tech Tuesday. Alrighty, guys. So we're going to be playing law. Our opponent did choose to go first, which isn't the worst for us because we can Bonnie, Curly. So looking at this, it's actually not that bad. I'm definitely down to keep this because we have a two and then we also have a back to back. So we'll play curly and then we'll grab. Sadly, there's no one drop we can grab. So we do have to whiff. But next turn, we can use jewelry, Bonnie and possibly go to Brook, things like that. Our opponent does use Seaquake, which is a little bit unfortunate, but definitely not the end of the world. The Quake is going to get annoying with being able to kind of deplete our board, but it's not something that, you know, is going to be super critical. And being at 4 Dawn next turn, that means we can Bonnie, play down Brook, swing for 7, go from there. So, 7k swing, happily take that. And now we can actually Curly and do everything. So, first thing we'll do is we'll Curly, um, we'll grab the Nami. And then we'll play down the Nami. We'll grab Zoro so that way we have it. And then we'll play down the Bonnie. And then we'll just do a 5k swing. And then we can kind of set up next turn for everything else that we want to do. So our opponent takes. And then we can pass. If they do have another couple Seaquake, it'll definitely be annoying. But it's not the end of the world. So there's the Marco. So Marco will get rid of Bonnie, which is fine. Then there's a 5k swing. We'll happily take that. So let's see. Is there a way that we can play the Zoro and then bounce a red character back? Play this Law, bounce the Zoro back, and then replay it? Let's see. So we need two for Shambles. shambles. So we can go Tony into Bonnie. And then what we can do... Uh, let's see. So I won't be able to play the Zoro down, but what I can do is I can play the Brook and then shambles the Brook back, go into the Law, 
bounce the Nami back into a 5k swing. So, not too bad for sure. So, we'll use Brook. We'll give Law. Do a 7k swing. And then we'll bounce the Brook back. We'll play down the Law. Use the card action. Um, bounce the Nami back. Play down the Zoro. And then we'll just have a 5k swing from there. Just so we have a couple more 2Ks in hand. And then we also have Nami, which is another searcher. And then we can go from there. And then we do have two blockers on board. We have a handful of 2Ks, things like that. So definitely isn't too bad. So our opponent plays Otama down. Okay, so he uses Fire Fist. The Fire Fist does get rid of our two blockers. Definitely not the worst, but it is a little bit annoying to deal with. But we can still pull off the um, Shambles next turn for sure. So we play down Buggy. So they get Sea Quake. They get another Sea Quake. That's insane. They're just destroying our board at this point. They're going to do an 8k swing. Um, the 8k... I'm going to keep this Zoro alive because it is going to apply pressure. And then we're going to go from there. So there's another 5k swing. Um, let's see. We can search. Lay down Nami. Play what we search. Possibly Shambles. Definitely not bad. Um, let's see. Do I want to do that though? Yeah. I think I have to get rid of the Nami here. Because I can search off Bonnie. And whatever I get off Bonnie I can play. And then I can play the Brook down and still shambles. So, And we still do have our draw for turn as well. So we'll use Bonnie. Bonnie can grab us the... Um... We'll grab the Capone, and then what we can do is, let's see. We'll play down the Brook, give the Dawn to Zoro, and then we can give Zoro two more Dawn to have a 9k swing. And we can go 9k with the Marco. Our opponent lets it go, which is fine. This is just getting more cards out of their hand anyways. And then what we can do... We can do a 5k swing onto the ace. Okay, so they go 6, which is fine. And then what we'll do is we'll play down the chopper we'll use shambles to bring back the brook play down the law we'll restand the zoro and then we'll do another uh let's see i can wait a turn technically let's see um because you can just bring this back with the event. So we'll just do a 9k swing. And then we'll end our turn. We are giving him more cards to work with. But we're also kind of building um, our board. So he has to deal with the board more. And then come next turn. We can start going for lethal. Depending on what his board state looks like. So he plays down Ace. Definitely not bad. So a 7k swing into our leader. Uh, that I will happily take. Six K swing into our leader. We'll just counter that. Five K swing into our leader. I don't think there's very much he can do with two dawn 
So we can try and go for lethal next turn. So he'll probably swing into this and then we can block with the chopper. So we'll take this. He can use fire fist potentially, which would be a little bit annoying, but he does have to get rid of a card in his hand and he is only at one life. So if we can get two lethals through next turn with no blocks and we'll be fine. Okay, so he's doing a 3k swing, which is fine. We'll just use Brook, just to combo out. And then he could do 3 into 2 again, or go 4 into 2, in which case I'm going to have to block, but that's definitely not the end of the world. So there's a 6k swing. Um, the 6k swing, I don't have to get a r rid of a blocker here, actually, and I can't actually go for lethal with the board that I have. So we'll go no blocker, we'll just counter with Brook. And our opponent DCs, but given the next turn, our opponent going for lethal so hard, um, with three cards in hand, the most he could have possibly blocked with would have been 2, 4, 6, so would have been 11k. So I could have put, um, yeah, I could have put 5 Dawn in here, force him to either take or block. Do a 10k swing that way if he wanted to block and it was 11k he dumped it all and then just done a 5k swing into an 11k swing or a 7 so we definitely had the aspect of it and that just kind of goes to show the aspects of law and how you know if you're dealing with board wipes it's not really the end of the world i mean as you saw he got rid of our a lot of our board we managed to come back to with just a few little cards so um as always thank you guys for watching today's video if you did enjoy it smash that like button subscribe turn on post notifications otherwise i will catch you guys in tomorrow's episode of tech tuesday